Welcome back, surf fans. You're watching the Oi Rio Pro presented by Corona. We've got a David versus Goliath story hitting the lineup right now. But we're talking the David as Michael Rodriguez, who put on an absolute aerial clinic in early round. You go, oh no, this is going to be a rough day. But the surfers we have hitting the lineup make this stuff look so fun. And of course, Italo Ferreira thrives in conditions like this. Yes, he does. And he's had a fun weekend off, uh, <laughs> getting up to all sorts of... Um you know, night night activities with his partner and DJing and, and uh, crowd surfing last night. So, but back to work today and uh, starting off that 5.5. You know, Italo in a quick conversation with his pit crew before this heat, they're saying he's hoping that the winds switch a little bit and go side shore because you can imagine, even with a hint of air wind with huge wedging sections like we're seeing out here today, Italo would be chomping at the bit to find a ramp out there and really give this crowd something to cheer about. But a 5.5 just getting going, he's got more for us right now. Yeah, it's almost like a, <laughs> there you go. That was the, uh, when he heard in the back of his mind the word conservative, he switched it all off. And we're going we're gonna to see a lot of waves written today, that's for sure. This is Michael Rodriguez. He is kind of your prototypical hard grinding QS and Challenger Series type surfer so far. He has had some opportunities on the championship tour. These guys go way back. They grew up close to each other in the northeast of Brazil. They're around the same age, so they have tussled and had battles dating way back into their junior career. But this year we're seeing a little bit different of an Italo. We haven't seen that big breakout victory. We've seen a lot of big performances, but it's all about doing it when it counts. And I think for him, He's kind of seized that end result, you know, of course the cliche, marathon, not a sprint. I feel like that's kind of the mindset that Italo's been in. His team told him, as he goes out there, have fun. Do that, <laughs> do things like that. That is when Italo starts to thrive. Points to the flag, waves to the crowd, the decibel levels going through the roof. As we check it out of the replay, you can really see the fact that he does a really nice turn, but his spin, as he looks down the line, is a full rotation gets it all the way back around fully lands it points of those towards the beach and that spin that rotation that he's able to achieve on the back end it was so impressive and it's really impressive to watch this in slow motion and you can see the leverage on the front foot the back foot pushing back down gets that rotation around chris and uh, he's done it time and time again it's a go-to maneuver and it always gardeners a score yeah and you know just to add to the difficulty there the tail kind of going higher than his than his head. You know, that just adds the element of difficulty that the judges want to see. And here he goes again. This is, uh, this is, this is how Italo does it, right? Starts to get things rolling. And once he posts a big number in 867, he's freed up. Michael Rodriguez back against the wall, does have plenty of time, under just under 20 minutes. And I would say Rodriguez underrated for how radical he can get on his board. He did some of the most impressive airs of this entire event in his first round heat. Some variations on spins, went upside down a few times and uh, this guy will make you pay if given the opportunity. As Italo Ferreira, it has to be a, a daunting feeling, but you know, Michael's been around the block. He's a veteran and he's got a lot of power on display right there. Yeah, 28 year old veteran. Uh... Michael, he's, you know, had some incredible, um, you know, heats and he's, he's currently 13th in the Challenger Series. So he's been uh, competing this year and with surfing like this, hoping to see him back on tour. He's uh, so electric and always brings such a, you know, as we see Michael Rodriguez on a good looking left. Yeah, Rodriguez is a power broker. You know, he is uh, one of those surfers that has all the fundamentals, really good rail game and the ability to uh, be springy on his feet. Yeah, the crowd is eating every wave up. And Rodriguez now fighting back. You can just see the... Uh, yeah, that's repositioning, the, I Yeah, the, the electricity, of course, flowing in the way uh, towards Italo Ferreira. You can feel it right now. He does have six minutes to go. And another wave from, from Michael Rodriguez. This was the wave that I think he maybe just got to reposition, like you were saying, Hypo, and just come in, get the jet ski, and get back up. The jet ski assist comes into play only when they're down the beach where these guys are taking off right now as Italo blasts the roof off that wave, can't hang on. 
Yeah, I got the chance to catch up with the Italo camp before this heat, and it was very calm, you know, happy, and basically the, the, the what they're talking about there is, look, Italo is that good. The only thing that can beat him is himself. If he starts to dwell on the pressure, dwell on the points, you know, worry too much about the scenarios, that's when we start to see Italo potentially make mistakes. He uh, t took a look at that one. He does have priority, and it did flip to Italo Ferreira, and he's happy to take the priority right now. Italo goes to his backhand. No worries. <laughs> that was for the fans right there, kicking the tail towards the beach. Michael lost priority, and now you don't hand it over to Italo Ferreira because that's the stuff that he's going to do. He's got that quick spin. He's used a little bit of his flexibility, you know, kind of dirtied up on the landing. Will he better his 5.5, perhaps just for progression? I love to see it in slow motion. Look at the leg strength that he needs to be able to firstly make this, get back up. There's the ab strength right there. But then when this whitewash takes over again right here, he knows, okay, activate the glutes. There's a bit of backwash. We have to stay on the board. And that is just so impressive. It's a low for now with a statement victory over your current 13th place surfer on the Challenger Series. Michael Rodriguez is climbing the rankings, moved up four spots, so more to come in this young surfer's future. But for Italo Fada, he's advancing through. We've got a lot more action happening.